<laughs> Good morning, YouTube. It's me on the way to Joyce Page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, it is Friday, Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> if you're superstitious, I think it's the day that I think some people would rather stay home. Oh, I gotta go out of the bed. I got some stuff I gotta do, but still, you gotta be careful. But anyway, this is my one of my comparisons, and this is part of flex and sex appeal. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I I'm a fan of these ladies in support of bodybuilding. They are beautiful women that represent themselves in this sport, and I I, I recognize them. I, you know, and then you be recognized for that. People still look at the muscle, and they love all the fact is that there's some very highly attractive women very highly attractive so i picked two ladies who are just beautiful women of melanin uh, women of a mixed background and just they have just a look to them here we have here capucine and clint i did a couple i did a video about capucine interviewed her a couple of times a beautiful woman, amazing woman and here we have here is uh maya um, hernandez and both these ladies compete in figure figure i see figure more like women's bodybuilding than anything it's, it's like it's like the start for women in bodybuilding, you know, you come figure, you come with physique, and you come to women's open. Now, you know, this bikini, but man, I don't really count it that much. But anyway, as you know, Capucine, she started her path around about the early 2000s. As I remember in the interview, um, she was a bit of overweight, and she decided to, you know, she wanted to change her things. She wanted to look better for herself. And she started competing around about, the, around about 2007, and she earned a pro card in 2017. Um, Marta, she's from Mexico. And what information I can get about her, she started her career, I think, around about 2015 or 2016. She's also a trainer. She's a coach. She originally started out, she earned a pro card in 2018 as a figure, as a, actually, physique, and competed for physique for, I think, uh, her pro debut. But eventually, she switched up, she switched over to figure. So, you know, I think it's probably either way. She can go either way if I, from what I've seen of her. And this is the last shows they competed at um, last year in 2022. This is Capucine in New York Pro. And, you know, she looked good. I mean, she ain't places well like she should have, but she looked amazing. Like I said, she just has a beautiful physique. And we have we here is Mariana, uh, Mar 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 Mariah, sorry, Mar Mariah at uh, the uh, Hurricane Pro. And I'm telling you, I think even though she's figure, I see her more like physique. Maybe she might go back. Maybe if she, you know, she did, she, I think she took third this show. But like I said, you have to, now it's just no more point qualification anymore. You have to really win your show. Now, this is kind of like if you might call the, it's like the variation of the start pose. It's kind of like the front double for a uh, figure. You know, um, both ladies are very amazing. I think, um, Mary Anna, you can really see she has more of the hourglass figure. Look at her, 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 her delts. I mean, they're very well pronounced, much more broader shoulder. You know, no, no slouch on, um, you know, Capucine. But I have to give this one here to Mariana. Uh, here we have is a quarter turn. Uh, from the look, both ladies impressive, but I might be a little biased. I might go with Capucine on this one. So I go Capucine. Here we have another quarter turn. From the back, both legs are very impressive. But right here, it looks like, I don't know, Mariana has like an issue with her shoulder. It kind of drops. So she should be like a little bit more even. Now, if I go anybody from the back and has that great V taper look, I have to go with Capucine. I think Capucine is really impressive. Here we have another quarter turn. Um, both legs look pretty good. Um, either way, like I said, if I look at this, you know, it's it's the same position. <laughs> you know, if you switch from quarter turns to left, quarter turns to the right, um, you know, it's pretty much about the same position. But if I look at it again and look at the lines definition here, I might say I go with Mariana, Mariah. Yeah, you know, I go with her. I don't know where we go with her. Here we have a nice bicep pose. Uh, better size projection, capsing out the gate. Capucine has great muscle of an amazing body. And, you know, she is beautiful, too. So I have to go here with Capucine. Here we have a nice recruit shot. From the back, both ladies are very impressive. And this is kind of a close one. If you go what the judges are looking for, you don't want to go too much direction in the groups. You want a little bit more softer look. You don't want to be too over, too much lines, too much definition. So this one I have to go with uh, Marana. Marana, okay. 
And then, like I said, both these ladies are amazing women. You know, Capucine, she's of mixed culture herself, being that um, I, her father is of uh, Spanish descent, her mother is Haitian, and she just has a great look to her. And with uh, Mariah, Mariah, she is, you know, of, of Mexican descent. And many women of, you know, many people of Mexican descent does have a little bit of uh, uh, Afrocentric in them, and, you know, and they both are beautiful women. I think, like I said, you know, uh, my last interview with Capucine, she's um, considering move over to wellness. And I think it might work good with her, especially she has those strong Afro genetics, being that she's half Haitian. And Mariana, I think she might either, I think she, cause she's in this crossroads. She was a physique competitor. She's done figure, but she might go over the wellness. I don't know. It's it's kind of a close call with her. You know, with, with the wellness, with a lot of these girls who move into wellness now, there's some of these ladies who are in figure or in physique who feel like not doing so well, so they, so they switch this division because it's very popular. But these are two both beautiful women, most amazing women. Um, I like I said, I would love to talk to Mariah. Uh, you know, I don't know if she speaks English that well. I might send a request. It's all up to her. Capucine, you know, it's been a while since we last talked. I know a while back she had a little problem. One time somebody hit her car <laughs> and she had to get it fixed. But like I said, she's an amazing lady. You know, I, we try to keep in contact as often as we could. You know, I know she's busy. She has, she has trainers. She's a coach. She's also, she's on, she does sessions. It's a way to make money. Uh, with Mariah, yeah, if I got a name right, I want to make sure. Um, she she trains, she coaches, she doesn't do too much sessions. You know, like when I was looking for, you know, um, through her photos and stuff, she does a, she's a, a lot of gym stuff. Not a lot of, um, you know, like a lot of these girls when they do uh, photos, stuff like that, they try to do photo sessions, stuff like that. She doesn't do that much of it. A lot of stuff is like gym stuff. Not a lot of, um, you know, I would say good beefcake material, but the stuff I pulled together was good enough for me. But these are two oppressive women, great women. They represent each other in their divisions, being full figure. As I said again, with Capucine moving over to wellness, there's a good chance that we might see Mariah uh, maybe move over to wellness or even go back to physique. It's all depending. She might be feel comfortable with figure, but, you know, I don't know. It's always, you have to make that consideration how your body's developing and how it's changing. But these are two beautiful women, both women of... Uh, you know, ethnic backgrounds, both women of great muscle development, and like I said, a great future in this uh, in the IFBB. So, hope to see more of them um, in the upcoming year. I hope they have a, had a great up, um, holiday. And like I said, I support these ladies in any and by almost all the divisions in bodybuilding. You know, be it, like I said, figure, wo- women's bodybuilding, physique, and also in fitness. So, you know, these women who I truly, like I said again, have flex and sex appeal. And anyway, we see me on our Wish Joe's page, aka the Emperor of Female Body Talk. Like, don't let subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.